Hey YouTube, it's me again, Arbachlover1618. I know it's been a while since I have said my YouTube name. So, anyway. Yeah, now that I have my early vacation, <clears throat> as my boss said, no, I didn't get fired. He said he would call me back next year in August. I think August fifth or something I'd have to ask him again anyway um, I'm back with more time actually to do videos of vacuums and in front of you I have my Hoover Wind Tunnel Supreme also known as the Maytag Wind Tunnel Supreme in the United Kingdom I would like a, a Maytag Wind Tunnel Supreme to put right next to this. I think it would look great next to... I think they would look great together. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, this thing has the see-through bag door. In case y'all didn't know that. Sorry, I got a... My mama left her attachments to her royal hair. At my house. I'm gonna move these out of the way. <clears throat> it's not like she would use them anyway, but I'm still gonna return them. Anyway, back to this. In case y'all didn't know, this has the see through bag door. Pull it off here just to show you. See right through it. And it even has a bag check, which I don't think the Maytag did, but I'm still gonna, I'm still interested in getting one. That is what attracted me to it. Bag could use a change. Yeah, I like to see bag inflation. Whether it be in a soft bag unit or hard bag. Not too many hard bags. Sorry, this is getting to be a pain to get back on. I just did that to see the bag inflate. Anyway, we're gonna get to the main point of this video very quickly since I've already wasted three minutes and 29 seconds of your time that you could be spending seeing a vacuum. But first, I'm gonna be uploading another British TV commercial that I have on my computer I'm using my phone right now but I'm gonna upload it from my computer since that's the only thing that the video is on and um, if you know of iBasiac on YouTube he has a Maytag Wind Tunnel Supreme so you can go over to his channel right now and watch that if you would like to see it. And something else worth mentioning, instead of just two lights for the uh, dirt finder, the Maytag had three, it had another light over here. I don't remember what that was for. I know quite a bit about British vacuums. I actually had a few of them. Until my last step up transformer blew out. I sent them back to Somerset of England. 
So anyway, we're going to get this show on the road here. I'm going to do a versus test between this and another vacuum as well. I don't know if the sanitary will kick this thing's ass or not because this thing works amazingly well. So we're going to go ahead and do a test, and you may notice that I have a different bag system on my Sanitaire SC684. Because I, I think the bellow, or tube, is wearing out to an extreme. So that's kind of preventing me from using that. Hope this shredder didn't get out. Nope. Sometimes my roommate comes in here and dumps my shredder. I will be keeping the sanitary bagged just to make it fair. Put a little bit more paper here now. And it's snow and shredded paper. Here we go with the Hoover first. Sanitaire. Okay. Well, I will be back because apparently I forgot to put the brush roll back into this. Okay, tag two. surprising because none of my sanitaries have been beaten by any vacuum well except for the Hoover Conquest but um, and again the Hoover Conquest is direct aired but it was Hoover's most beastly machine with its time and still is but anyway um, for a more household vacuum, this is tied. So, 
I think we're about to find another vacuum that will beat it. Which would be a Hoover household vacuum. We might. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I will have another video to come. And, well, I'm just going to have so much time on my hands that, well, I could probably expand my channel's video amount by a big number. So, um, tell me how you liked it, tell me what you would like to see, and I'll see what I can do. And oh, before I go, I do believe that I will be doing some live streaming, vacuum live streaming, for a change on my channel, so, um, y'all could stay tuned for that, um, so, now, until next time, see y'all later. Bye.